20 of our 30-day challenge. Just 10 days left until we depart with our digital marketing tips and training. So I hope you've enjoyed the 20 days so far. And um, we've still got loads more to cover. It kind of gives you an indication of how important it is. So in business, um, we're looking at not just sort of differentiating our brand. We're really looking to make our brand stand out. Now, the thing is, is being unique and quirky is going to really help because in 2018, we are just absolutely saturated in terms of content marketing. The amount of content that's been produced day to day is impossible to keep up with. And what we're looking to do is use brand differentiation to really kind of enhance the whole customer journey. Now, you've got to consider content marketing can be used at every touch point with your brand. So the thing is, is when somebody does a Google search, they might be actually visiting your social media like Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn before they even see your website. So it's really important to enhance the customer's digital experience because you're looking to resonate with each individual. You're looking to get your brand message out. So when we're using things like social media, it's not about selling. It's about telling. It's about that red car syndrome. So that, you know, they keep seeing that person. They keep looking at that brand's key messages, adverts, and whatever. So that you position yourself as a thought leader and influencer. Now, the thing is, is it's not necessarily all about sort of, you know, buy my product, buy my product, buy my product. Because what we're looking to do is social media is going to help you position yourself as that expert, that go-to person, so that when someone says, do you know someone who does this? Oh, yeah, I always see this person who does this on social media. Uh, you know, I watch this video. They look quite good. You're looking to be recommended. And this is the whole thing. Digital marketing and getting your key sort of message across through driving digital experience. Now, I'm going to give you some key tips to enhance the customer digital experience. The company must know and respect its customers. That's number one. And know what they want um, before they ask. So the thing is, is what you're trying to do is position your content to drive that digital experience, not just here's our product, here's our service, here's our brand. But when it really will help nurture that person through to maybe being a profitable customer of yours is when you're positioning content based on what they're searching for. What is their pain? What is the problem? What is the advice they're searching for? And the company must speak in one voice across all of its sales, marketing, support, and all the functions in the business. That brand message needs to be consistent on every digital channel you're using. Now, technology should be transparent to the customer. Don't make it about the technology. Make it about the experience. You know, the medium is not the message. The experience is the message. So it's not about being on social media. It's about them consuming the content and interacting. Now, one thing we know in terms of engagement is when you have a website that has interactive tools that is fact-finding, but the customer who visits feels that they're being matched with a solution. So think about it. If you land on a website and we have things like a digital diagnostic, it means that our users can go and test their digital skills and knowledge against their peers and see where they sit. It's also going to identify any gaps in terms of the knowledge where they need to upskill. And um, they're also going to see if there's anything that maybe that they're not as up to date versus other areas. But it also it's going to help them see what they're good at. Now, in terms of us as the business, it means that we can identify where the gaps are, how to help the business, and how to position our content. So if somebody did a digital diagnostic quiz and they found out that they had a huge gap on SEO, we could then send them some really useful blogs, articles, information to help them learn more. So it's all about tell, not sell. Now, the company must delight its customers at every turn so that customer expectations of that brand are consistently and constantly elevated. So it's the difference of not posting a piece of text, but doing something like a video, adding value, getting your brand out there. People think that by giving information away, they're giving away the whole product and service. They're not. They're actually giving a snapshot, the best way of marketing the business, by presenting, adding value and a, a snapshot of what they can present if they engage with you as a paying customer. So don't just merge into the background, be different, be memorable, and establish an online presence that is visual to create strong brand recognition and establish a key figurehead as a thought leader and an influencer in your market. 
That's the difference in terms of digital experience. We engage visually. So if you want brand recognition, there was a latest study that Facebook actually commissioned and they found out that even just watching three seconds of a video is going to establish brand recognition. And the thing is, is if you've got people who are going to be the forefront of your brand and you're presenting those people day to day, people recognize faces, people recognize voices. So try and think about positioning your brand and thank you very much there's someone here has just said i did not know about um, the diagnostic and um, we will be sending a link in this video for the digital skills diagnostic so if you want to test your knowledge in digital skills and you see this on facebook twitter and linkedin and um, then head to our group so in the group business consort on facebook join the group and we will post the digital diagnostic and you can see where you match with your peers now try and think about today looking through the customer journey. So why not do a search for your business? Try and search for brand, product, and service. See how you present in Google. Do you stand out from the crowd? But then take it a stage further. Start searching for what is the pain, the problem, the solution that you're trying to present for your users? What information are you presenting? Do you have blog articles that's positioning you and helping nurture that um, message through for your brand? Now, if you don't have that content and you want to stand out to the crowd, don't just do a run-of-the-mill blog article. Try and have a quirky edge to it. Think about maybe negative marketing. Instead of, you know, seven things that you need to do, maybe five things you never knew, or um, here's eight pitfalls of, um, you know, things never to do in business. Negative marketing can often be a, a slightly quirkier enticer because we can't help take a sneaky peek. So try and think about um, how to position your brand, how to stand out from the crowd, and how to get online presence that differentiates you from your competitor. Now, join us for day 21, the evolution of digital and the future. We're going to be bringing some key trends for 2018. And not just 2018, where marketing is going in 2019, and where we'll be in 2020, and what to expect, and how to really take advantage of some of the new technology. So, have a great day. If you've got any comments, please leave them below. Any questions about digital marketing or how to stand out from the crowd? And don't forget to like our page or follow us on Twitter or LinkedIn or Instagram. And my name's Dawn McGrewer from Business Consort, and I'll be joining you for day 21, the evolution of digital and the future of marketing.